Hey YouTubers, this is Keith. I want to give you guys a quick 500 mile update on how the WR is doing. I've had it since uh, about a month and a half right now. Just turned 500 miles today. Pretty much all dirt riding and I'm really loving it. There's a few things that people have commented on on the bike that I wanted to address in the initial 500 miles I've had it. A lot of these are complaints that people have or modifications that they make pretty quickly. And you know, as I said earlier in another video, I'm liking this bike right out of the box. I don't feel the need to really change it too much. I'm not going to look at changing the exhaust or um, the engine management system, put it on a dyno or remap it. It's only got 27 horsepower, but it's less than 300 pounds. So it's got plenty of power for me. I'm finding that it'll do 50 miles an hour on these dirt roads and do it pretty easily all day long. With the fuel injection, it's really smooth, and Yamaha has done a really great job of making everything work uh, as it should, despite all the limitations that they've got from the EPA. So I'm really liking the power delivery. I like the smooth the fuel injection. I'm real happy with that. I like the lower weight. The suspension is pretty good. Uh, the areas where it kind of struggles so far are we've had some washboard surfaces because of some recent rain, and some of the corners on these dirt roads I'm doing are kind of bumped up and. The WR wants to bounce around a little bit there. It's kind of hard to keep it online. I suspect that that's true of a lot of different bikes, but the WR does bounce a little bit. So maybe people might be interested in doing some suspension modifications to the shock or the forks. Right now, I'm kind of managing that. The seat I find is fine. I'm only doing you know 100 miles on a trip, but not even burning through a tank of gas. So that seems to work pretty well for me. I'm not doing all day trips yet, but we'll see what happens then. Um, the seating position, handlebars are great. Standing up is great, um, very comfortable. One of the things that people talk about is the tank range. And when I pulled a fairing off the other day, I was really surprised at how small that tank is at only two gallons. But it gets about 70, 75 miles per gallon, and that's enough for 150 mile range. Uh, right now, for me, that's good. Uh, I'm not doing much more than that in a day anyway, so uh, I'm managing that. We'll see in the future when I start doing some touring what happens then. So overall, there's really not anything that I'm seeing when I'm riding the WR that I say, oh, I got to change that right away. It just seems so good out of the box. You know, I know this is kind of a premium price for a 250, but I think it's worth it uh, for the fully adjustable suspension and the fuel injected motor it just it works really well now the modifications that i am planning are really just around uh, touring ability and some protection i haven't put a skid plate on yet but i am looking at getting a flat land skid plate i'll definitely get some hand guards for it and then i'm going to look at getting some luggage so i can do some you know two or three day weekends just traveling the back roads and dirt roads around here and in vermont um, i'm looking at the wolfman expeditions which are Bigger than the Enduro ones, but smaller than the Rocky Mountain ones. So something kind of a mid. I really am falling in love with the idea of minimalist touring and just taking basic things, the essentials. So we'll see where that goes. If you have any questions about the WR, drop them below. Again, I'm really loving this bike. No regrets about the decision. I would advise anyone that's thinking about it, if they can at all do it, to pull the trigger. You won't regret it. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching my channel and supporting me. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much.